Hi everyone, this is Scott from ADP Integration Services. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick demo of the newly refreshed ADP Integration Services user portal. Let's go ahead and get started here by exploring the home page. In the middle of the header, you'll find a global search feature. And to the right, you'll find a what's new button, a support button, and also a way to sign out of the application. Now, if you haven't used this global search feature, it's actually pretty cool. If you type in uh, all or part of the last name of, say, a person in ADP, the search results that display are all of the workflows that were run for this organization and for this person in the past six months. It works the exact same way if you enter all or part of an ADP GL file name that's been previously transmitted. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if you move down from the global search bar to the navigation bar, selecting the company button will take you to the company details page. Here you'll find integration subscriptions belonging to your company as well as users in history. The subscriptions tab includes all apps to which your company has been subscribed and provides access to subscription details such as configurations and workflows. The Users tab includes all users that have signed into the portal from your company. And the History tab includes integration history such as interview changes, integration workflows accessed, and users who have signed in for your company. Now going back up to the navigation bar and selecting the Workflows button will take you to the new Workflows page. This new page allows you to search for integration workflows that have been run for your company and provides filters for period, workflow status, and subscription as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to the home page by selecting the home button on the top navigation menu. Now the main portion of the home page has been completely redesigned to make it easier for you to get in, get out, and get back to work. At the top of the home page, you may notice a task center. If your company has had any integration failures in the past week, the Task Center will provide you with an action button to review the failures. And selecting the Review Recent Failures button opens the Workflows page that we saw a moment ago, but this time with filters applied to display just failures. Selecting the Details button for a given workflow opens the workflow details and allows you to access the workflow log and filter the log entries to see the errors. Oh, and don't forget about the troubleshooting guide that we have available. Okay, back to the home page. Now, I mentioned before that the task center may or may not be present for you on the home page. I said may because a task center will only be present if there have been any integration failures for your company in the past week. The best way to think about this is that no task center on the home page is a good thing. It means that all of your integrations are working as expected. Next up on the home page is the recommended section. This section provides quick links to features that are most frequently used, such as workflows and company info. Now below the recommended section is the recent activities section. Currently this section displays the 10 most recent integration workflows across all of your company's subscriptions. In the future, we plan on enhancing this to include things like recent user sign-ins and integration history. Okay, the final thing I wanna share with you on the homepage is the subscription section. In this section, You'll find a separate card for each of your company's integration subscriptions. There's a chance you will only see one card here, and that's very common. The cards are customized based on the status of the subscription. If the integration is enabled and everything is working as expected, a looks good badge will be present on the card. If the integration is not enabled, such as during implementation or troubleshooting, a setup in progress badge will be present. And if the integration needs attention, a needs attention badge will be present. By the way, if you wanna learn more about what needs attention means and how you can action on those uh, items, uh, check out the support link at the top of the page. Now, depending on the status of the subscription, action buttons might be included at the bottom left of each card. 
In this case, a, re a recent failures button provides access to recently failed integration workflows. Of course, the details button will always be included, and that's what we'll talk about next. Now let's explore the pay group details page by selecting the details button for this first subscription. The configuration grid at the top allows you to start integration workflows as well as access the interview answers. To start a workflow, select the start a workflow for this configuration button. Then select the desired workflow template. And then select the start button. Once the workflow started, you'll be redirected to the workflow details page so you can monitor the workflow progress if you wish. Now let's go back to the configurations grid on the pay group details page. From time to time, you might want to display or print the details of a configuration. To do this, select the show a printer friendly view of this configuration button. and view the details of the configuration. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on down to the workflows grid at the bottom of this page. This grid includes integration workflows that have been run for this subscription in the past six months. The grid will always include the workflow template that was used, as well as the start time and workflow status. Also, depending on the workflow template that was used, records, tags, and run values might also be included. If you'd like to search for a workflow by its tag, enter the desired tag in the search workflows by tag search box. As each character is entered in the search box, the workflows in the grid are filtered. Okay, that completes the demo of the updated ADP Integration Services user portal. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to submit them via the feedback link on the bottom left of the home page. That's all for now, everyone. Happy integrations.